I believe I made a video on this, but I think someone asked me about this again. Many of us may have really, really bad dreams. For instance, you may have dreams about snakes being everywhere. You may have dreams about spiders being everywhere. You may have a dream that you are being chased. Someone is trying to feed you. Someone is trying to stab you, kill you, eat you, harm you, rape you. You may have dreams that you are having sex with particular women and men. You may have dreams that makes absolutely no sense. Dreams that you know that are not of God. What shall you do? As I stated before, once you wake up, what should you do? We have to understand that we have power in our words. There is power. There is so much power in our words. Usually many people use their words to speak evil, cursing people out or saying very, very rude things to people. Anyways, to get back to my main point, when you have these crazy dreams, dreams that you know that are evil, dreams that makes absolutely no sense, like why should I be eating or someone trying to feed me in my dreams? When you have demonic dreams like that, that is showing you that demons are trying to intervene in your life much more. They are trying to get you to come in agreement with them in your dreams. Because if they can do it, dreams are not dreams. I believe I said this so many times before you can see things on this earthly side first it has to be done on the spiritual side so it has to be done it it have to be done on that side first before it can come to our realm so dreams are not dreams. So when demons are trying to do whatever in your dreams, they are trying to make something manifest on this side. I pray that makes sense. Before whatever can happen on this earthly side, it has to be done on the spiritual side first. So when demons are doing whatever they are doing, they are doing it because they want some type of curse on this side. Make sense? You are not having a sexual dream because you want it to happen or demons are just trying to entertain you. No, they are doing it Anytime evil comes to your dream, they are trying to harm you on this side, on this earthly side. Kevin, what are you trying to say? Listen, God is not going to give you a sexual dream. 
God is not going to chase you or have angels chase you with knives trying to stab you and stuff like that. When demons are intervening in your dreams, it is to curse you. It is to harm you. So what shall you do when you wake up? What shall you do? We have power in our words. So when you wake up, speak out loud. I curse. I denounce anything that demon was trying to do with me. Any contract that it was trying to set up with me, I render it useless. I don't want anything to do with it. Any soul ties, any attachments that demon or demons have placed on me, I break it right now in the name of Jesus. Every time when those demonic dreams come your way, you must do that. A dream is not a dream. For instance, I was having so many foolish dreams and I really did not think anything of it. Like I said, before things can manifest on this side, it have to manifest or happen on the spiritual side first. And I was figuring it out, or I did research on it, and found out why I was having so many demonic dreams. It was not that I wanted them to happen. No. Demons wanted to continue to try to do things to me. And I am not having that. So when those silly dreams do come to me, I wake up, I denounce, I render all covenants, demonic covenants, useless. I don't want anything to do with demons. Stay away from me. No soul ties with demons. Nothing. I bind and cast out all demons away from me right now in Jesus' name. This is what you have to do. So what should I say, Kevin? In easy terms, stay away from me, demons. Stay <laughs> Any contract, whatever, I break it right now in Jesus' name, basically. Basically. This is what you have to do. You can't just wake up and say, wow, that was really a weird dream. No, it was not a dream. It is supernatural. And we wonder why so many bad things are happening to us now. Let me say this as a side note. And this is a bit off topic as well. We have to be careful in who we speak to because many of the time or some of the time we may be speaking to people that are trying to curse us. There was this one particular woman that I would speak to a while back <clears throat> and she would say to me, keep everything I say a secret or something like that. And I was like, okay, you know, whatever. But some of the things she was saying to me and some of the things she was doing, it felt really off. <clears throat> As if this woman was trying to hurt me or harm me or curse me or something like that. So I was asking other people about this and that, this and that, and it came to me, this woman is a witch. 
And I continued to ask her this over and over and over again. Of course, this woman said no, 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 no. But it kept on coming to me in a very strong way. This woman is a witch. And she finally admitted to it that she is a witch. And I believe throughout the whole process, she did not want any good thing to come to me. Nothing. Everything that I tried to do positive for people, she did not have any good thing to say about it. What is your point, Kevin? Listen. If you start to notice that a person is really evil and you are trying to tell them about God and they don't want anything to do with God, you may have to stay away from them. Don't let them speak into your life. Don't let them tell you what you need to do. Because that person may be a witch or some type of occult member. I'm telling you. You have to be careful. Make sure it is best to speak to a man or woman of God that you know that is truly serving God. Just because a person is a pastor or a bishop or a deacon or an evangelist does not mean that they are serving God. There are many of them, or some of them, are still in sin. So, look for people who are actually serving God and ask them for advice. Stop asking advice from your sinful mother, or your sinful father, or your sinful cousin, and so on and so on. They can't help you. <laughs> they are just going to minister to you things of sin, pretty much. You need advice from a woman or man of God. A person who is actually serving God. Because I know for myself, I received some advice from people I know I should have not spoke to about certain things and for that case there they led me astray which is my fault because I should have known better but I guess you live and learn so I pray that this makes sense God bless